On the WBZ News at 6, investigators filing federal terrorism charges against the suspect in yesterday's terror attack in New York City. I'm David Wade. I'm Lisa Hughes. Police say he followed ISIS instructions almost to the letter in carrying out that deadly attack. And the FBI, we know tonight, is searching for a second person in connection with the terrorist investigation. This is Mohamed Zwar Kadyrov. Investigators are asking for anyone with information about him to come forward. Two charges were just filed against the 29-year-old main suspect in this case. Authorities say that Seifullo Saipov came to the U.S. in 2010 from Uzbekistan and lived in Florida, but he also has ties to Ohio and to New Jersey. Now, the complaint that was filed says he killed eight people speeding down a bike path in a rental truck in Lower Manhattan near the World Trade Center Memorial. And WBZ's Liam Martin is live near that scene tonight with the very latest. Liam? Lisa and David, it was right down this street, in fact, Chambers Street, where he carried out that attack. Lower Manhattan here, the World uh, Trade Center Memorial just over our shoulders. And we just got the criminal complaint against Seifulo Saipov. It says that he told investigators he specifically chose Halloween because he knew more people would be outside. Federal terrorism charges brought late today against New York attack suspect Seifulo Saipa. Investigators say the ISIS sympathizer drove down a bike path on the West Side Highway, mowing down everyone in his path for eight tenths of a mile until he crashed into a school bus packed with children. Police think Saipov had been planning the attack for weeks. My administration is coordinating closely between federal and local officials to investigate the attack. And to further investigate this animal. Investigators are conducting a block by block search in this area to collect evidence and video to reconstruct the timeline. They're also combing through the Patterson, New Jersey neighborhood where Saipov lived. A neighbor says the rental truck used in the attack was seen around the neighborhood in recent days. The same truck, same model. How, and how long have you seen that truck around? I've been seeing it on and off for three weeks. 28 year old New York City police officer Ryan Nash, who shot the suspect, is being called a humble hero. Although I feel that we were just doing our job, like thousands of officers do every day, I understand the importance of yesterday's events and the role we played. Danielle Nicholson took this video of the attack. She had been on the bike path just 20 minutes before and then heard gunshots. I had just gotten back upstairs, sitting at my computer. I work from home, and I heard like six or seven gunshots fired. And I live, I sit up there all the time, and I hear stuff all the time, and it was definitely, like I knew it was gunshots. I knew it was something off. Now, we knew yesterday that when Saipov got out of the truck here on Chamber Street, he had a pellet gun and a paintball gun in his hands. What well, we learned today in that criminal complaint that we just received moments ago, authorities also found three knives, a stun gun, and two cell phones that Saipov had with him at the time. David and Lisa? 